Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am testing the twist on dual threaded diamond painting pen from Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club recently released two new products that caught my attention as soon as I saw them. So I ordered them and they arrived in a padded envelope. Surprisingly for Diamond Art Club, there is no branding. Um, it's just a plain uh, padded envelope. No mention of Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle or anything on it. So I, I ordered both things. Uh, today I just want to concentrate on the new pen. So I have cut this open to make sure the pen is the first thing that comes out. If you want to see what the other thing is, please remember to subscribe, hit the notification button and you will get a message when the new video comes out. Um, it will be very soon. So reach into the envelope and take out the pen. So put this out of the way. So this is the, the new uh, pen from Diamond Art Club. It does have the branding on the box. Um, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Diamond painting. And then we have Twist On Premium Diamond, uh, sorry, Twist On Premium Pen. And then it says Included Twist On Stainless Steel Tip. So this pen actually comes with a steel tip included. Um, in the past, it's been the standard uh, nylon and brass tip. Now, I do have a pen that I bought from Diamond Art Club a while back um, that I just wanted to look at uh, for comparison. So this is the one that I ordered. Um, as far as I remember, it's called Creamsicle Blue. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, it came with uh, a small multiplacer. It didn't come with this tip, um, I changed the tip. It, it was a standard uh, diamond painting pen tip, like this one that everybody is familiar with. So I took this one out and I put in a steel tip um, because I prefer it. So this is the style they were doing then and the size. So I just want to keep this here as a reference. So we'll have a look in the back and it says our premium hand-turned diamond painting pen offers effortless transition from a twist-on single tip to a twist-on multiplacer with tremendous ease. So now um, twist-on, I'm not sure if it means twist as in you turn it a quarter turn or if it means screw in. So that was one thing I was curious about. So the only way to find out is open the box, which shouldn't be difficult. And we'll take the pen out. Okay, nothing else in the box. So straight away you can see uh, the pen is much shorter than the old one. Um, it's thicker as well. And weight wise, I'd say they were about the same. Which means this is actually heavier for the, the size of it. Um, well, I mean the length. A shorter pen, but it still weighs the same. But that is because it's thicker. So we'll put this one out of the way. And we'll concentrate more on this. So I've never actually seen the Diamond Art Club tips before. I've seen them advertised, but I've never bought one. So the tip wasn't all the way in. So it is a screw tip. Um, that was a very, very, very long thread. Um, so it is a screw tip. Um, to me, a twist on, um, I would think it would be like, put it in, turn it a quarter turn, twist and then twist to release. I would call this a screw tip um, because you screw it all the way in. Um, if you just do it, if you just put it in and just turn it, um, it'll be very loose. So I just want to check the other end. So we'll try putting that in there. There you go. So it's a very long thread, so it's going to be very, very secure. 
So basically you've got a pen that has a threaded hole either end so you can have your, multipl uh, your single placer in one end and if you get a multiplacer you can screw that in to the other end. Um, the reason that this is a good idea is now you don't get any loose tips. It seemed to be a common problem uh, with diamond painting pens in general. You get your push fit, the old style, you push it into the pen and you find that there's a bit of slack in it. When you try to diamond paint the tip isn't staying uh, steady, it tends to wobble, it's very very annoying. So what people would do is get their uh, tip, take it back out and put maybe some washi tape around or um, masking tape or something like that just to pack it up and then screw it back in to tighten it. Um, very irritating. Some people would actually glue the tip in um, which isn't the best idea because if the pen breaks um, the, the tip is glued in or glued on to the plastic it makes it a lot more difficult to clean it up to use it on a different pen. So Diamond Art Club have looked at this and decided to do the threaded tip. Um, it is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I mean I would have, I was expecting maybe if it was threaded to be half as long as that. So that is good because it gives it a really really tight fit, really secure fit. You don't have to worry about it. The only thing you have to worry about is if you drop your pen and it lands on the floor, there's a chance it could crack the pen, but the tip um, would be okay. So I don't think it's invincible, but um, definitely much more secure. Uh, the pen colour is called Blooming Rose Swirl. Uh, it's really nice. I like it a lot. And I would imagine every pen is going to be unique um, just because of the way that these things are made and uh, yeah it's a nice looking pen um, a lot it feels a lot thicker than this one when you're holding it so if you're looking for a, a thicker pen um, this definitely would be one to try the ends feel the same some pens are, are different at either end um, but this one feels as if it's the same. So we have uh, this uh, bulge in the centre. It goes down to a slight waist and then bulges out again. Makes it very comfortable to hold. I tend to hold my pens. I have like my finger over the top of this little bulge and then my thumb goes in the, the groove. I tend to hold my pens like that. Um, it feels very comfortable to me. I prefer it to the thinner pens. So, yeah, that's it. That's the new pen. As I said, it was it was really curiosity. Um, I think at the moment they are out of stock. I think a lot of people were interested in them. But now you know what to expect if you're thinking about getting one when they come back in stock. Uh, I'm sure they will come out with new colours. Uh, but at the moment, this is the only one with the, the threaded tip. Um, I don't know why they called it twist on, uh, to me that's confusing, it's a screw on tip. But yep, nice pen, but shorter, some people may or may not like that, um, it, it doesn't bother me at all, but again just as a, a size comparison. You can see it's quite a bit shorter, but quite a bit thicker. So, yeah, as always, Diamond Art Club are looking to move forward and enhance and change things to improve things. So, no more wobbly tips. Uh, I would imagine uh, they're going to be switching to this design for future pens. I'm on a tilted table. Um, so, yeah, nice little pen. So, that was the new twist on dual threaded diamond painting pen from Diamond Art Club. Um, the thing that caught my attention was just the, the word um, twist on dual threaded and I thought what does that actually mean? 
Um, as I said, initially I was thinking twist on, does that mean it's just like a quarter turn to, to lock it in place and a quarter turn to unlock it? Uh, dual threaded, I thought, is that like two threads in the same hole for different things or something? Um, but as far as I can see, it is screw on and it's basically dual ended screw fit. Um, Unless I'm missing something, but I had a close look inside the threads and it looks like it's just a, a normal thread. Um, but that's, again, it was just, I was curious uh, to see exactly what it was. Um, it is a good bit shorter than uh, the pen um, that I got before, but that was, oh, I'm guessing, maybe a couple of years ago, uh, maybe even longer. So. I know there have been newer pens since then, and I'm not sure if the, the design has changed. But compared to the old pen, um, it's quite a bit shorter, um, quite a bit thicker. I would say it's definitely on the thicker side um, for people who struggle with thin pens. Um, I mention this quite a lot, but people that suffer, suffer a bit from arthritis or anything like that, they tend to find problems holding narrow things or picking up narrow things. Uh, holding them for any length of time can be painful. So um, this pen is thicker than, uh, way thicker than the standard pink, pink straw. But it's uh, thicker than, I would say, a lot of pens. So if you're looking for a thicker pen that's easier to hold, um, I'd definitely say it was worth a try. The screw fit. Um, is definitely a huge upgrade. Uh, no more wobbling when you try and push the tip in. No more having to pack it up with washi tape or uh, masking tape or anything like that. Uh, no more gluing the tip in. But as I said, I wouldn't really recommend gluing in the tip because if you damage the pen, it's going to be really difficult to get the what's left of the pen out of the threads of the tip. Um, but uh, yeah, some people glue them, um, but there's no need with this. It's absolutely solid, firm, and you can screw in a multiplacer on the other end, um, which means if you use different sizes of multiplacer, as long as they are screw fit, um, they will fit. So you can have the smaller one, you can unscrew it, put in the bigger one, unscrew it, put in the smaller one again. Um, so a uh, pretty versatile pen. Um, the the colour I like. Um, I wasn't really sure, Rose, but um, I would say that is a nice little pen. The tip, I haven't uh, used any of these tips before. Um, I didn't use one in this video because I have a pretty extensive video coming up where I will be using the pen um, a lot. So um, yeah, that's, that's another video that's coming up. But before I do that video, I'm going to do a video about the other thing that is in this package. I think a lot of people, or probably all of the people that look at the Diamond Dark Club website will know or really will have a very good idea what the other thing is in that uh, padded envelope. And that is going to be the next video. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more unboxings, unbaggings, comparisons, anything to do with diamond painting, or you just want to see what is in the bag, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube. I do random lives uh, where I come on, people can see what I'm working on, and they can drop in, have a bit of a chat, we can talk about diamond painting, we can talk about the weather, we can talk about the price of cheese, we can talk about pretty much anything. Um, if you're new to diamond painting and you have any questions, please feel free to drop in. If you are a seasoned pro at diamond painting, please feel free to drop in. Um, I'm, always, I'm always interested in meeting uh, new diamond painters to me um, around the world and finding out um, a little bit more about them. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.